Hello everybody and welcome to another quick tutorial on terrain materials. This one will focus on the landscape grass output node. Uh, so that way we can uh, apply vegetation depending on the terrain layer we are painting. So with that said, uh, let's get into it. Let's open the material that we were uh, previously using. So let me just get into here. I got the instance. Let me open the master. Alright, and here we go. So you probably remember this from the previous tutorials. Nothing really new here if you've gone through those. Now, let's... Um, this... Um, uh, we'll need to add a specific node and that is called a landscape grass output node. So let's look for that. Landscape grass output. So one thing to note, there can only be one of these nodes in your graph or else uh, it's going to throw like one of those um, one of those errors. Um, now this um, this is actually the, the error that is shown is just the input is missing but if you throw another one of these nodes in here it will complain. So for this one uh, what we'll need to do uh, this one can take um, can take a, a grass type like a landscape grass type. So and it can take multiple of these and um, let's um, um, let's just do one for now and uh, and then we'll add another one to show how you can use different uh, different types of grass on different layers so let's go into our content uh, browser and let's see I have my tutorial here so I'm just going to create a quick folder call this grass types and um, in here let's create look for foliage in landscape grass type so I'm gonna call this uh, let's call it uh, grass type 1 maybe I don't have any out of a better name in mind right now grass type 1 and now if you open this one you'll notice that what you can do is you can add grass varieties and you can have multiple of these I'm just gonna add uh, uh, maybe let's add a couple of them for now so um, I previously like in the some some time ago I purchased this grass pack which is a really uh, really nice looking pack so let's use uh, I'm gonna be using this grass too and then let's I said I was gonna add another one and uh, let's use maybe um, let's use this one grass 7 here now you'll notice there's uh, quite a few uh, options that you have in here you know like the grass density the start and then cold distance LODing scaling and uh, so forth let's uh, let's change these a little bit so I'm gonna use maybe a 0.8 to a 1.3 uh, in here and the same for this one just to give a little bit variety in, uh, in size and 1.3 uh, again okay so we have the first grass type now what we need to do is we need to tell what layer to paint this on so in order for that we're gonna use a layer blend so let's look for layer blend node and um, landscape layer blend there we go uh, actually no this is not it my apologies it will let's see uh, I'm always confused with these because there's so many options layer blend uh, where was that uh, layer blend why am I having such a hard time landscape layer blend that was it Landscape layer blend. There we go. So I uh, had the right one. Well, so now this one, what this one is going to have to have in here, you can add multiple layers to this, but it's only going to have one output. So um, I'm just going to keep it with one layer, and these the layer name have, has to match whatever we have for our layer names. Uh, in our uh, previous layer blend. So I'm going to be using uh, mossy ground. So for this one I'm going to be calling it mossy ground. And I'm going to be plugging this one into, into our grass. Now this layer needs to have um, either a constant but what I'm going to be using here is a scalar. So I'm going to be uh, calling uh, this scalar. Uh, it's going to be uh, mossy uh, mossy ground uh, this is this works kind of like a multiplier so it's going to be mossy ground um, grass 
class amount, let's call it that. So I'm going to set this to 1 to, to begin with and plug it into our layer of blend. So at this point, what we need to do is plug our grass type into here. So we've created one, this grass type 1, and uh, let's see, that should do it. And this one, this one's just for our mossy ground layer. So now I just got to have to uh, cue the elevator music and wait for this to compile. There's actually quite a bit of shaders that need to be compiled in here. So if we look at this, um, I've, I've mentioned that um, this can only have uh, one one of these uh, one of these um, nodes in your graph. So in order to add other types, you just add other types to this array, and um, we'll do that next. So this one's almost done compiling. Let's take a look. Oh, and there we go. So we already have this in place. So as you can see, I have painted an area here that has, let's go into material, into uh, terrain painting no, mode. And uh, so right now, this one is only going to be shown on the mossy ground. So if we pay a look, paint a little more here, there's some extra going on, and then a little bit more. And there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. So now if I was to paint like the swamp water over this, you'll see that it just kind of, um, cuts through and then just remove some of that. So let's add the second uh, second element to this. So I'm going to be calling this, uh, that one was grass 1, let's call this maybe grass 2, and uh, this is going to work almost identical. So I'm going to duplicate these two nodes, plug it in here, Make sure we're going to give this, uh, I believe, what was my other layer? It's called Swamp Water. So I'm going to be calling this Swamp wa uh, Swamp Water. There we go. And then this one's going to be Swamp Water Grass Amount. Swamp Water Grass Amount. And we'll, we'll take a look at how these work as well. But um, what we need to do is actually add this other uh, material type in here, or, or uh, so, sorry, uh, landscape grass type. So I'm going to go here and duplicate this. And we'll have it as grass type 2. And let's just add some different types of grass in here. So for this one, I'm going to do maybe this kind of. Um, water looking grass thing, what it looks like to me at least, and then maybe some clovers. Okay, let's save this. So that's saved. Let's go into our master terrain and assign it here, grass type 2, and then let's save. And there's going to be again some shaders that need to be compiled. So if we also take a look, uh, let's uh, kind of bring up our um, our material instance for this terrain. So we can take a quick look at those uh, those new scalers that we've added. Let's see where did it get placed. So we have uh, them right here under mossy and swamp. So right now they're set to 1, that's kind of the default that I wanted to start off with. And uh, and here we go, so we have this new type of grass with the clovers paint being painted all over where the uh, where the swamp material was, uh, was painted. So now let's play around with these values for a little bit. So I'm just going to put this down to 2, 
0.2 and then maybe the swamp water to 0.3 and there we go so we, we've reduced the density just by uh, editing the, the, these two scalars in our terrain material instance and um, so yeah this is pretty much it mm, nothing fancy about it it's just a little bit of setup that you need to do and uh, just like uh, if you want to add extra layers for like you have um, you know extra materials on your terrain you can just uh, add some more in here or you can um, use uh, you know you can add probably uh, extra ones in here so if you uh, if you want to use the same type of you know grass too on swamp water and maybe you know one of the other uh, wet sand or like the other layers you have you can do that as well I like to keep them separate just because I, I like to have this extra control over the amount of uh, grass that each type each each layer gets so with that said uh, thank you everybody for uh, uh, watching this video and hopefully it was useful and if you have any questions just drop them down in the comments below and uh, you you guys have a great week coming up Take care, everybody.